is here, then we're going to split. When you joined us last time, we had made it to La Paz and were preparing to purchase tickets for the ferry ride to Mazatlan. We had a day to simply walk the city, view the architecture, and admire all of the amazing street art. Second time in like a half an hour, I almost got killed. Don't get killed. The pause is nice. The drivers are crazy. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. We got an Airbnb. It's a condo in this like high-rise complex, and the view is pretty darn good. Yeah, it's really nice. Woohoo! Living large. Yeah, so it's been a crazy morning. Zach and I have been all over La Paz trying to get some tickets for the ferry to mainland Mexico. And let me tell you, it's been an ordeal. Started off in the US, not being able to buy tickets because we weren't able to get the accurate rate weight for the truck. And uh, now we're, you know, at some Baja Ferries headquarters in downtown trying to figure it out. We went out to the actual ferry terminal and uh, couldn't communicate very well uh, with the woman behind the counter. Our Spanish wasn't good enough and she didn't really speak English. And we tried to make some phone calls and it's just been kind of a cluster hee-haw. Yeah, hopefully we can get these tickets in Splitsville. We had an awesome day. Well, it was stressful at first because we had no idea what we were doing yeah. getting the um, the ferry reservation. Prince is super freaked out about taking a ferry. I don't particularly, I mean, I love water, but I don't particularly, I mean, I, and I love boats. I just don't like to be on boats in water. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, went to the uh, ferry terminal here uh, north of La Paz, and uh, we went through the rigmarole, you know, trying to figure out if we could get a ticket there or whatever, and um, my Spanish is not as good as I had hoped it would be, and um, <laughs> we wound up doing like the phone translation thing, and eventually the the attendant at the, the desk was like, um, Go away now! Um, <laughs> call the number and you can get some help in English. We called and of course, waited and waited and waited and it hung up on me and so I just decided based on like a little quick internet research to go to the Baja Ferries like main office in downtown La Paz which was a really good idea bueno do that if you're having issues at the ferry 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, like uh, very helpful people. Much more patient. A lot less intense situation. Like at one point, I had three of the attendants at the desk, like trying to help me out. So <laughs> really, really helpful. Um, but anyway, we got our reservation. Woohoo! And yeah, it's sun. We're leaving. Today is Friday, and we're leaving uh, next Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, for an overnight trip to Mazatlan, yep. and I am stoked. I can't wait actually to get to mainland Mexico and explore and see some of the ruins and yeah, me too. just live on the cheap. Yeah, Baja, you know? especially in La Paz. Yeah, it's a little expensive. Not a cheap place to yeah, hang out. Yeah, a little expensive. Yeah, and I think maybe, maybe tomorrow not. we're going to go to Todos. We're going to go back to Todos Santos because yeah. we really like that spot. I mean, talk about not cheap. <laughs> Totus is not cheap Totus either, is but, not cheap, uh, but it's good. Really good place. Really and good. Super chill vibe. Ooh, the sunset's starting to get Ooh. really good. All right, well, let's show them the sunset. Yeah. All right, nighty night, y'all. Sebastian and Melly and uh 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 he's trying to get up on the hill but it may not be successful. Here comes Zach to the rescue and Pete. <laughs> All right, we might have to do some uh some winching here. This is some pretty deep sand. We're, we're, we're a little bit stuck. It was probably inevitable. We're gonna pull out Sebastian from the sand over here. Decided not to go up on the beach because it's kind of a pain in the beach. So we're gonna set up camp right here. Our friends have many months of experience traveling in Mexico, so their advice for places to see and stay on the mainland was much appreciated. This map session has already proven useful to us. to have my phone right here so I'm I'm doing this illegally so hopefully you guys can hear me we just officially um, went through I guess it's like a customs thing here at Baja Ferries 
um, and then got weighed. And now Zach is getting our ticket so officially we can um, board. Uh, there's a lot going on here. This is super crazy. We actually came about four hours early just so that um, we could get everything together and not feel rushed um, and try to sort of beat the traffic, which I think we did. We had an amazing meal uh, <laughs> before we came over here to uh, the ferry terminal because uh, apparently the food on board is not so good. I will say that if you're at all anxious like I am or was, definitely give yourself plenty of time to get here um, and just be easy on yourself, um, especially if your Spanish isn't good, which whew, mine is not. All right, since this is illegal, I'm gonna sign off, but hopefully here in about two or three hours, we'll get on the ferry and then we'll get uh, underway. Apparently it's supposed to take off right around seven. So we'll see what happens. It was easy. Uh, n maybe for Zach, but I don't know. I went through all these different weird places. It's a big boat. It's a big boat. Um, and we have, we got ourselves a little cabin. We actually have a bathroom, which is great. And a shower. I don't think I brought any soap. Oh, wow. So we actually have four beds, which is pretty nice, I guess. Yeah. And a little couch and a TV. Don't know what we'll be able to watch, but, and then a view out the window. And you can't really tell there's much out there because there's a lot of sea scum on these windows. I guess I'm feeling a little less freaked out, but uh, yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty darn crazy. How was it for you? I would imagine anywhere in the States, it's the same thing. It's just that you can speak the language and it's super smooth. Well, plus it's super stinking loud down there. I don't know how you're supposed to hear anything. They just hand signals and stuff. Mm. It's fine for yeah. the most part. And then when it's, and then when you got your truck parked the way they want it, it's uh, you got to get out. Look again. The gas cans couldn't be full, so they they told me I needed to take the gas cans off and put them in a little room that smelled like a bunch of other solvents and paints and stuff. And on the way out tomorrow, I need to stop and make sure we get those. So yeah. if you're watching this, please remind me to stop and get our gas can. We're gonna remind Zach to get the gas. And uh, I think we're gonna go and have a beer maybe and hang out up top and see. And I also need to know where all the exit points are and where the boats are because I'm like that. I need to know. Where's the, where are the boats that would save your life? Just in case. Okay, well, good night. We'll see you in the morning and Mazadlan. Mazadlan! <laughs> Once we were at the port in Mazatlan, we made a beeline out of the craziness of the city toward a stay near San Blas, a few hours to the south. We are about to go to dinner in this 
with our hosts. We are here in Atacama. Yeah, outside of San Blas, and we're gonna go to dinner with them in this. Yes! Too effing cool, man. Love it. to enjoy a walk with our host up to a nearby lake while I stayed behind to do some editing. This is Natural Viagra. When she returned, I had some great news to share. We had surpassed a thousand subscribers on YouTube, a milestone for our channel. Thank you all for following along on our adventures. We felt fortunate to meet these two riders who were staying at the house before we arrived, but soon they were off to pursue the rest of their adventure. The following day we would head out further into the coastal jungle, passing through village after village.
just got in camp. It's a good one. We're at uh, Santa Maria del, del Oro. Oh, got it. Yes, <laughs> took me a second. But it's an amazing caldera that's filled with water. Super, super good. So we're gonna stay here for a couple nights. We were just on the Pacific Ocean and now we are inland, up in the mountains. So this is our camp. It's actually really nice. We're at Koala, what's it called? Koala Campground. And this is sort of the back area behind the casitas. And then there's some private homes around and stuff, but the front of the campground is absolutely stunning. It's just full of grass and then you can see the big caldera. So it's really nice. What do you think? Yeah, it's beautiful. eating dinner tonight and it is amazing they're the only ones here it's a little lonely but you know what like I can't complain it's really good I am not hating mainland Mexico That's fantastic. Some bread bites. And we have a little bit of cheese grease on there too. Oh, yeah. bread bites with cheese grease. Mm, some cheese grease. Ooh. Mm. The so grease of the queso. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what we got going on here. I think nice. we got some pit bull dachshund kind of mix. Nice. It's bizarre. Look at this little thing. <laughs> I met the owner of the campground and she graciously allowed me the use of this palapa to get some work done. Not a bad view from this office. While packing up to head out, we were greeted by a strange and noisy group of birds that filled the trees around us. These were chachalacas, seen as somewhat of a pest around here in Mexico. From Santa Maria del Oro, it was on to the beautiful town of Etzitlan, known for its colorful knitted sky. Its crocheted canopy, which covers the streets, is the largest of its kind anywhere in the world. At our camp in Atzitlan, we would meet some new friends and welcome a very special new arrival. Oh my goodness. This foal was born less than 24 hours ago. Look at her. I'm pleased to say it seems like she's already interested in renewable energy. Join us in two weeks as we dive into the very big city of Guadalajara.
Pass, pass, pass. <laughs> And geez, 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 geez. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> no schmo mo. Rank amateurs. Yes, rank amateurs for sure. <laughs> Sorry for the jiggles and wiggles while I walk. The whales! This is crazy. The toilet. <laughs> I have no Oh yeah. We don't have any monkeys. I'm the only monkey here. Yeah.